Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Greg and it's been a while since I've done a video actually. Um, I say a good few months, but I have good reason for that. I was trying to go to the Olympics and I did that, thank God. I went to Tokyo 2020 and it was an absolute dream come true. Obviously it was kind of a weird Olympics in that it was very restricted and I didn't even get to see Tokyo or go to any other events. But it was still an Olympics and it's everything that I've been trying to do for the last couple of years. Um, so it was absolutely amazing. But I'll get more into that at another stage. But the reason why I've kind of made this YouTube video is to um, announce my retirement basically. Let's just get straight into it. I'm at the age of 26 and I'm retiring which is mad to say. But I just think it's come to that time in my life where it feels like the right decision and there's a lot of reasons for it. Um, now don't get me wrong, I would absolutely love to keep playing professional rugby um, but just in the sevens uh, style of the game, you can look it up, we're, we're just not paid enough for it to be a viable long-term career and I absolutely loved it. I've played professional rugby since 18 years old. I came through the academy system in Munster, then went into the sevens team and I achieved everything I wanted to achieve. I went to a World Cup, um, I went to work, I did a whole World Series tour and I did an Olympics. I absolutely loved the last couple of years, but I just can't keep doing it. I've made lifelong friends. I've met some of the most amazing people within the rugby here in Ireland, but also abroad. And they'll be friends for life, but I just had to be realistic and realise that there's other pathways in life and I need to build a career for myself outside of rugby. Um, so yeah, so I've retired at the age of 26. Um, and you know how much it means to me, like look behind me now, there's my jersey on the wall signed by all the lads, I'll give you a look at it. So this is the jersey I wore in the World Series 7th qualifier in Hong Kong in 2019, uh, signed by all the boys. And this is my accreditation from the Olympics, so it's just obvious how much it means to me. And it absolutely breaks my heart that I have to retire, like rugby has been everything to me for the last couple of years. Since I've been a young fella, I've wanted to play professional rugby um, and I would stay in it if it was just a viable career option and I'd play it until I can't walk anymore. But look, every good thing has to come to an end and I achieved what I wanted to achieve in it. And there's other things I want to do in life. Uh, so many different things, like I absolutely loved broadcasting and presenting. I got to be on RT2FM, absolutely loved that. I got to do a couple of TV shows, I've done podcasts, and I just get such a buzz of presenting and broadcasting, similar enough to the adrenaline buzz I actually get off playing sport. Because it's live, and if you mess up, everyone hears you mess up, and that's it. So I'm hoping to kind of get into that stuff again, and, and I love fitness. Anyone that's here on YouTube, I was putting out so many fitness videos in the first and second lockdown, like core and Pilates and all that. And I really enjoyed it, but it was just not an option to keep doing it while I was training full time. So I want to get back into that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, just kind of attack the whole social media side of things that I have going on as well. And just kind of give you guys a bit more of me. Uh, so, and do you know what? I'm not gonna lie, I'm freaking out kind of. There's a lot of anxiety in the last couple of months, just realizing that I was coming towards the end of my career and what was just secure in my life. The change is cool and experiencing new things and trying new things and getting out of my comfort bubble. So um, yeah, I didn't really know exactly how to announce it. So I said just a YouTube video of me talking through how I'm feeling, what I'm planning. And I'm also gonna do a big giveaway over on my Instagram. And it's gonna go up the same time as this video. So uh, when you finish watching this, just pop over to my Instagram and I'm doing a big giveaway of literally all of my rugby gear so the normal rugby gear I had but also my Olympic rugby gear and a couple of pairs of boots and stuff I'll give you a quick look at it now um, this is pretty cool actually I'm not giving this away it's Tokyo 2020 I'm always number 8 and I got assigned by all the lads and you know what's really rare for rugby jerseys is to have the name on the back so I'm keeping that one myself I won't be giving that one away but then I have all this Olympic gear and if you want to be in the chance of winning my Olympic gear, then um, do whatever I say over on my Instagram. It'll be like you know, simple stuff like like it and just comment underneath. And I'm also going to do a second giveaway of my um, just normal rugby gear. This bag is full of kit. Like look, it's absolutely jam packed full of rugby gear. So I'll be giving that away as well. See these here? I'm going to do a giveaway of these boots as well. So probably two pairs of boots with um, each gear bag. Just a nice way to kind of mark my retirement and and a side note about giveaways, right? Um, this is a pet peeve of mine, is when you see Instagrammers and influencers doing giveaways 
and they're clearly not random giveaways like they just handpick the people that are like the exact same demographic as them like it's just silly like so um, I'll definitely be using a random generator to make it fair and yeah just a nice way to mark my retirement and kind of include you guys because you supported me the whole way and without you guys it wouldn't have been as fun so so head over to my Instagram and get involved if you want to be in a chance with winning this gear and another thing that is big news in my world is because now that I'm retired from rugby I now have a chance to fix the injuries that I sustained throughout the career so two years ago I don't know if you can see it now but broke my nose so you see my nose is not straight anymore it's over to this side of my face crushed um, my skull so you see the way it's not like straight across it's like a dent there so my skull goes in there oh so yeah I need to go talk to the surgeon again and, and talk about getting all this done and also I need to do it for medical reasons because my nasal uh, airways are just goosed so I actually have that meeting today with the consultant surgeon and I'm gonna bring you along with me let's go I've just arrived here at the sports surgery clinic um, I've spent way too much time here as a young fella I'd say I've gotten this is my fifth surgery so I've had my Achilles I've had my ankle I've had my shoulder I had something done with my spine uh, now I'm getting my face done so that's my fifth surgery which is crazy but that's just the nature of playing rugby um, so yeah let's get going in to meet the surgeon now and uh, I'll fill you in afterwards so I'm just back from meeting the surgeon and we had a great chat loads to fill you in on so Basically, I have to get the surgery done in two stints. So you can't do the nose and the forehead together because the forehead needs like a good foundation to be set. Um, so the plan is I definitely need to get the nose done medically uh, for like nasal reasons. So I'm gonna get that done um, in the next couple of days. And then after that, I'm gonna decide if I definitely wanna get the forehead done. And I might just like leave it off because it's so invasive and it's like, cutting open your skull, um, peeling down the skin, and it's just very invasive, and there's kind of risks involved with that. So, do you know what? I'll get the nose done first, fix the, that might help me um, fix my nasal issues, and then um, I might be happy after that. It's been a couple of years waiting to get it done. Um, I postponed it to make sure I did what I wanted to do, and I achieved my goal of going to the Olympics with the boys. We did that, so now it's time to get this done, fix all my, all my face up, and uh, start breathing properly again. It's a nice way to kind of close that chapter of my life, drawing a line in the sand and getting all this fixed up. Uh, so, yeah, I'm excited and hopefully now they let me kind of film it. Good morning, it's about 6.30 here in Century Sports Clinic in Dublin. I've arrived in, checked in, uh, filled out all my forms and I have my beautiful little gown and cap on. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> and it's a backless gown, by the way. Anyways, it should be going in any minute now and I'm looking forward to finally getting it done and I will talk to you after. I'm literally just out of surgery. Like, just back in my uh, room here. I have a banging headache, but it seems to have gone well. They said it was only 30 minutes long. So, I got a splint on and I'm hoping that my nose is straight and uh, it all went well. It's full on the mask, it seems this is like, oh wow, okay, so there's a bit of blood there, isn't there? Um, but yeah, I presume it all went well, good stuff. Oh yeah, here's the surgeon Cliff, but he's making me beautiful again, is that right Cliff? Uh, that's absolutely yeah. great, everything, How, everything went fine for you. Now, anyone that has ever gotten surgery, knows that the best part about it is waking up and getting tea and toast. Look at this. Yes, it looks so tasty. <laughs> it's the morning after the surgery and I slept really, really well, so I'm delighted with that. Now that I'm saying it out loud, it's probably something to do with the painkillers and anti-inflammatories and other medicine I'm on after the surgery. But that's besides the point, really good sleep. And I don't have too much damage off the back of the surgery, I don't think. Like my eyes are a little bit discolored, um, but I thought I'd have two big black eyes. I got the nose very broken and it, there's not much damage at all. I had a little bit of blood and stuff coming out of here, but I cleaned all that up and it feels great, but I'm delighted and I'm also breathing so, so, so much better. Like that's the main part of the surgery was to help me breathe better. And listen, so much easier already, listen. 
Like, it's so much clearer. Is this what everyone feels like every day? I'm delighted with it. We're getting the cast off in the next couple of days. We'll see if the nose is straight. So that will be breathing better and nose is straight. I'll be delighted with that. We can move on to the next surgery, which is the forehead, and see if we'll get that one done. That's probably a good point to end this video. It's been a big video, guys. Like, I've announced my retirement from rugby at 26. Like, saying that out loud is just crazy to me. I'm gonna miss it so much. Like, I've loved rugby since I was a little fella. It's been my passion, it's been my full-time job, day-to-day, -day, everything has been about rugby, and now it's gone. Um, but every good thing has come to an end, and there's good reasons for it. There's so many things in the pipeline I wanna try, so many things I wanna do. I wanna thank you so much for supporting me so far. It's really meant a lot to me and made my journey so much better to this point, and I hope you keep supporting me from here on out in my next chapter in my life. Uh, please give this video a like and a comment, anything you want underneath what you thought of the video, any content you want to see from me, anything you want to ask, and I'll try my best to get back to you. And also, please, please, please press the subscribe button, and we'll try and build a little community here, and I'll get more content out to you guys. So thanks a million, and I'll catch you next time.